is the Chrissy Swan Show. Here we are on the second last day of May. How are you doing, Swanee? Look, I'm all right. I have been I've been at that weird time and it's really inexplicable and you will understand when I say it. Sometimes you just find yourself burning the candle at both ends. Totally. Even though you know you're doing it and you're, you're going, I've got to stop this, but I've just got to do this for a little bit. You know, you're focused yes. on that. So I've been going to bed very, very late and, you know, there's kids and all of that involved. So I went to bed last night at one in the morning. That is so late for you. It's so late. But you know what? You say that, but that's been happening with monotonous regularity over the last few months. So I'm feeling a bit... uh, And I woke up this morning and I thought, oh, my God, a computer no worky in brain. Of course, I went straight to Instagram, opened it up, and I feel like Instagram knows me better than anybody. Yeah. The first clip that came up didn't make any sense, but I understood (laughs) it perfectly. Well, I was going to get that report done as soon as possible, but hopefully it will be on Tuesday, okay? There should be no problem in getting your order processed. Thank you. I was wondering if I could get to report to you on maybe Monday or Tuesday because I've been very busy right now and our computer system is down. Thank you very much. So would you please get that to Mr. Jones and would you please <laughs> do that for me? Okay? Uh, uh, Thanks. Uh, 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 that is your brain. Uh, okay, that is my brain and that is how I'm going to do the rest of the show. Well, in good news for you, Chrissy Swan, to uh, give you a burst of life, the yes. beautiful Myth Warhurst is going to join us live in the oh studio. Oh my God, it's not my birthday, but it feels like it. But it was hers yesterday, remember yes. that? Yes. Um, after three o'clock, she's joining us. We'll also be asking for your sweeping statements. The Chrissy Swan Show. Something happened this morning on the Today Show. I love the Today Show. Same. I wake up with Today. I wake up with Today too, Swanee. And uh, there was a roving reporter doing a piece from the new Brisbane Aquatic Centre. She's there getting ready for those Olympic Games. They are, but there's so much drama around it. There is drama, but it's so far away. 2032, they'll sort it. They will. The the Bris Vegans have it. Don't you worry about that. But Andrea Crothers was on site. And the cheeky squirrel, Brooke Boney, took it upon herself to surprise her with a dare. Andrea, there is really only one way to test whether this is fit for purpose, and that is for you to jump in the water behind you right now. Oh my goodness! Go on, Andrea, do it, Andrea, do it for your country. She's gonna do it, Andrea. <laughs> 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 Much to the very obvious delight of her colleagues back at the studio, Andrea thought about it probably for a lot less time than I would have, um, and took off her mic pack. I know. I loved that she did that to ensure she wasn't electrocuted. <laughs> good, good. She did, to, as it turns out, not remember to take her phone out. Oh. So this has been a very difficult interview to organise without a phone, but she joins us now. Hello, Andrea. Hello, guys. I have borrowed a phone so I could call in. <laughs> oh, lovely. Now, did you consider for one moment that you did not want to jump into the pool live on air and deal with that? I considered for every moment I was not going to jump in and then I thought, oh, God, I have to. You do have to. I mean, you do yeah. have to. Imagine what a downer it would have been if you just went, oh, nah, Brooke, nah. Yeah, and as they're finishing up the show too. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if it was one of our southern reporters maybe, but <laughs> clean slander. <laughs> now, were, was there? did anything cross your mind in terms of what you were wearing and would it be see-through? Yeah. Well, as soon as I did the bomb dive, so I obviously just went for it, I thought, oh, God, I'm wearing a beige singlet. I'm not sure what bra I've got on underneath. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if it's see-through. And the cameraman had already been ribbing me all morning about looking like I was nude. <laughs> I, I, When I watched the footage, I thought, oh, my God, we're about to see some boozies here. <laughs> Don't sound so excited, Christy. <laughs> <laughs> Andrea, I love that you were very sort of kind to the company and took off the mic pack, but my first thought would be to take my phone out. Why didn't you go for the phone first? I just didn't even think about it. I had my car keys in there as well. Luckily, it's just one of those pushing key numbers, so it still works. But right. um, no, I just didn't even think about it. But the worst part was, because they were doing this press walkthrough, these pollies and everyone else were going beside us. We suddenly dive in. 
and then all of the Queensland press gallery just come up with their phones, <laughs> including the media guy from the game, going, hi, I'm Tom, so nice to meet you. This is my TikTok. <laughs> oh, God, of course. Now, this is not the first time, almost this week, I want to say, that you Started have been the, the star of this show. Um, I'm going to play you a, a little bit of audio and see if it jogs your memory. Here she was, confronted <laughs> on air during a live report. <laughs> now, Andrea, the reason that they're laughing is because you are beating yourself all over your beautiful face because there was a big fly on it. Is that true? No, it was five mozzies on my face. I already wiped that much blood off it. I tell you what, it's a brutal bloody state up here, but lucky, <laughs> lucky they breed them tough. I just, I've never seen anybody smack themselves in the face like that. I had held off for so long and just took my opportunity. <laughs> well, you have brought a lot of joy back to live TV and thank God for you, Andrea Crothers. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Watch what the Today legend. Show weekdays from 5.30am on Channel 9. What a legend. Watch out, Arbo. She's coming mm. for your job. <laughs> the Chrissy Swan Show. If you need a doctor, join over one million Australians who are skipping the waiting room and speak to Instant Scripts Doctors Online from the comfort of home. To find out more, visit instantscripts.com.au. The Chrissy Swan Show. Let's get cranky. Swan's sweeping statements. I want some juicy ones today. I want ones that people are going to be shocked at. Yeah, get us taken off air. Sadly, I don't have one of those for you, but I have got my calculator out for this one. Yeah, I'm really intrigued by that. My sweeping statement is this. Organic eggs should be the only eggs that are available for purchase. (laughs) Speaking of white privilege. (laughs) Well, this is why I've never said it out loud, because I feel like it sounds bad. That's why I got my calculator out. Ah, So I did a Google because I haven't bought those disgusting, watery, cheap eggs forever. Yeah, nor have I after you told me to never. Because have you you cracked one open side by side? No. You can see that that is an inferior egg squeezed out of the bits and pieces of a very sad... Depressed. ...chicken, Mm. right? So that is in every fibre of that egg... You are consuming that sadness, but that's by the by. A dozen of those sorts of eggs is six dollars. Got it. Between five and six dollars, so you're looking at about fifty cents an egg. Okay. Millowa organic or similar are for uh, between ten and eleven dollars. Yes, that feels like oh my god. I'm gonna be broke. That's double the price. Hold on, tight ass. <laughs> that is a difference of forty cents an egg. How many eggs would you have at a sitting? I have one a day. Right. I have three. Okay. I have three in an omelette. So the difference is $1.50 for something full of sadness and treachery Mm -hmm. or $2.70 for a joyous, happy product from a joyous, happy chicken. A happy chook-chook. The difference between... Eating sadness. Depression in a chookie. Yes, poor chookie. <laughs> poor chookie. Eating sadness. You are ingesting their life. Depression. It's disgusting. It's a dollar twenty. Now, anyone can afford that, Cosy lives or no. I agree. And they taste just so much better, Swan. A dollar. Taylor Swift's having 300 takeout coffees. <laughs> Do you know what that is? It's nearly $2,000. Correct. You can afford a dollar for a beautiful meal. Strong sweeping statement. I Thank like you. it. Thank you. Mine is that if you and your mates are thinking about starting a clothing brand, don't. There are enough clothing brands. I can't believe yours was like a little bit white privilege and mine's a little bit like for the environment. But like, <laughs> <laughs> there is enough clothing brands and designers and fashion labels out there. We don't need any more brands. The earth doesn't need any more landfill. There is enough out there. Where is Jack and what have you you done with it? The Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. Uh, Let's do this. Swan's sweeping statements. Oh, yeah. Anything that's not an organic egg should not be available. And if you're thinking of starting a clothing brand, don't. There's enough. (laughs) 
I don't know who that's specifically pointed to, but I've got a fair idea. <laughs> Hello, Colleen. Hi, guys. How are you going? Good. Good. What's your uh, What's your sweeping? I, yes. I agree with you with um, free range uh, with eggs, and I think all meat should be free range, especially pigs and chicken. If humans want to eat them, they need to give them a little bit better life before. So I agree. <laughs> and you know what? If you if you time it right, you can get, um, you know, what, what is it? Reduced for quick sale, organic chicken, etc., at the supermarket. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Good on you, Colleen. Backed one hundred percent. I'll stamp that, Nicole. Nicole, are you there? Hi, guys. Yes. This is um, a big my- one. <laughs> I don't like other people's children or find them particularly cute, only my own. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a common theme among parents, do you think, Swanee and well, Nicole? I think so. I think people just don't say it out loud, maybe. Sometimes you meet another a, a charming child that you haven't given birth to, but you remember it. Like, you're like, oh, I like you. That's weird. <laughs> this is rare. Yeah. Yeah. But- yeah, but if you're like at a birthday party and you're playing with your kids and then they're having fun and then other people's kids come and I'm like, mm, go away. Like, yeah. <laughs> Oh, Nicole, you're in the draw for Nova's 10k a day in <laughs> May. So funny. Thanks Samantha, to Liberty. What is your sweeping statement? My sweeping statement is a 9 a.m. start is a 9 a.m. start. Well, yes, obviously. I feel like this is a very loaded sweeping statement, Samantha. What's been going on? Oh, look, I just, you know, starting work at nine, but you have to be there at, you know, 8.30 or even what? earlier. You your job at four or five, but you have to make sure you don't leave until five or six. Who, says, think- who says you've got to be there at 8.30 if work starts at nine? Well, um, this is my sweeping statement. I just think it's very unfair that this is sort of something that's becoming is, a thing. Is that, your um, boss telling you this, though, Samantha? Are you experiencing this? I am definitely experiencing this. As my 15-year-old say, that is dog. <laughs> that is dog. A 9am start is a 9am start. When I am on air at 2pm, I arrive <laughs> at one fifty-eight. All right? <laughs> Takes me two minutes. Fun. Takes me two minutes to make a cup of tea and work out what the hell I'm going to say, and that's it. Good on you, Sam. You are in the draw for 10k a day in May. Finishes tomorrow, by the way. I know. Sad. Got to get in there, Karina. Let's finish with you. What is your sweeping statement? My sweeping statement is that sex is overrated. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, I want to say you're probably doing it wrong, Karina. <laughs> <laughs> the Chrissy Swan Show. Let's go clicking. <laughs> Chrissy's Just a side note on Dua Pip. Yeah. I love Illusion. I loved Houdini. The one in between. Training didn't love. season. Training season. I didn't love it. Can I tell you, when you're on your walk, yeah. there's two songs on her new album that are great. End of an Era yeah. and Happy For You. Oh, great. I give that to you. They're really good and good walking tunes. And they go hand in hand too. That vibe. Yeah. Speaking of vibes. Neighbours. Has scored. I thought this was an April Fool's joke. <laughs> Neighbours welcomes Hollywood real estate royalty, Chriselle Staus. This is huge. Now, I don't know a thing about her, apart from the fact that she is with an Australian legend. G-Flip. G-Flip. What a couple. That show Selling Sunsets, great, Swanee. Like real brain rot sort of stuff. Yeah, but great. great. I know, obviously I know the name Chriselle I know that this is a big name for Erinsborough. Some would say bigger than Misha Barton. Is she still on it? She's still here? No, no, she's gone. She's left. Oh, Chriselle's definitely bigger than Misha Barton because Misha, like, God bless her, but she was relevant 20 years ago. Oh. Chriselle's relevant now. Like, that's a big get. What is she doing on there? Hopefully it's so she, like, bizarre. hooks up with Dr. Carl or something. She's playing Yasmin. She hooks up with Dr. Carl. Yeah, I, I want another cheating scandal like Nat Bass. I want Dr. Carl and Chriselle to hook up. Do you really think <laughs> that the character whose most current storyline involved being a, <laughs> being a poo jogger That's right. is at the stage of his career that he gets to hook up with Chriselle? Well, who else? Toadie? Is Toadie still on there? <laughs> no, Toadie's... Uh, Toadie would be back on. No, yeah, sure. sure yeah. <laughs> um, so she will play Yasmin Shields. Okay. A glamorous and successful businesswoman. Typecast. Hello. Obviously. But as you know, 
There is always more to the story on Ramsey Street. <gasps> She's hooking up with Susan. <laughs> oh, actually. That's a good narrative. That's I like that. So 2024 too. Imagine the revenge, the sweet revenge yes. that she's waited 25 years for. We're available, neighbours' writing room. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if they're coming up with poo jogger storylines, I need all the help they can get. I want to take you to America now. A suspended licensed driver has baffled a judge by joining a court Zoom session while behind the wheel. Now, to get you across this sort of thing, because I reckon it's because of COVID, things have become a lot more flexible in terms of court hearings and all of that sort of stuff. You can do it on Zoom. Same at yeah. work, you know. You can do your whole job for My home. housemate, get this right, sees his spiritual healer on Zoom. I was like, shouldn't you be in person if she's healing your spirit? I agree. Who was Like, I- what? I was talking to somebody. Maybe it was Vicky at reception who'd seen a psychic or whatever, all s- done on the telephone. Uh-uh. That's a scam. you got to pick up the vibes, surely. Anyway, this judge was picking up some vibes and they were not good. Listen to Corey Harris's appearance. Mr. Harris, Hello. are you driving? Actually, I'm pulling into my doctor's office, actually. So, so I'll just give me one second. I'm parking right now. <laughs> You stationary? I'm pulling in right now at the second. Yes, I am. (laughs) It is so great. Way too casual. And the way that, like, the person in trouble is making the judge wait. He would have known he had a court hearing. Why was he making a doctor's appointment at the same time? Why are you behind the wheel when that is why you were going to court? I blame COVID. I saw somebody out on the street in their Udi yesterday and I thought this would not have happened before the pandemic. No, and was there a mirror in front of you? (laughs) It was me. (laughs) The Chrissy Swan Show. Oh, it is going to be an even better day. Than it already has been. Why is that? Because we are opening up our arms and our studio door to the gorgeous Miff Warhurst. I know, I can't wait to see her. I can't wait. I bet you Joel's jealous. You know when you get jealous when <laughs> yeah. your friend goes over to another friend's house on the weekend? And totally. you're like, why wasn't I invited? Correct. Well, suck it, Joel. She's with us. <laughs> um, I have had a really deep lol Overnight. That's a laugh out loud, in case you're wondering. Thank you for the clarification. Celeb Spellcheck is a, an account I follow on Instagram, and I bloody love it. They've posted a photograph of a very young Jerry Hallowell next to a very young Melanie Brown, Mel B from the Spice Girls. With this, <laughs> on, it's on the occasion of Mel B's birthday. Jerry Hallowell Horner, who's very fancy now, has posted... <laughs> That photograph with the caption, sent images to Pippa and this wording, asked her to tweak where needed. Happy birthday, official Mel B. Hope you have an amazing day. Lots of emojis. So what's happened here no. is Pippa obviously runs Jerry's socials. And I don't think this was sent to Pippa from Jerry. I reckon Jerry's personal assistant has seen that it's Mel's birthday thinks it'd be a good thing for Jerry to to post. post. So she has sent the image and the words to Pippa and said, make it sound as if Jerry's written it. Wow, that is so grim. It is so funny. (laughs) Surely you can just write your own post for one of your Spice Gal girls. I mean, look, I'm probably speaking out of school here. I don't think there's too much love lost between ah, those girls. I Let's get it. Let's put it that way. 13, 24, 10 next. We're going to play a round of Chrissy's Quizzy. The Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. Nova, I wonder if Miff Warhurst is coming up. Would like one of my bum bags. Oh, we should ask her. Or do I like her too much to offload one? <laughs> Chrissy's Quizzy. No such thing. I love you, Melissa, and I want you to win one of my limited edition bum bags. Oh, thanks, Chrissy. I'd love one. And would you love one too, Katie Kate? Oh, I'd love one, Chrissy. I'm really, I'm really trying. Oh my gosh, my dog. 
I'm so sorry. That's okay. You know that it's Jack's um, <laughs> specific interest area. He loves dogs. Somebody messaged oh. me, whoever I was mean to the other day on air, about their dog barking to apologise. I was joking. <laughs> no, you're not. I wasn't. But, <laughs> but <laughs> hey, can I just take a break for one second, Melissa and Kate? I just want to ask you, Jack, before I forget. Oh, no. How do you feel about cafes? where you can have your dog at the table and all that. Well, half the time I'm about to trip over one of them and break my ankles. They're not great. <laughs> Kill surprise. <laughs> all right, it's Melissa, the Kate. Your names are your buzzers, girls. It's the best of five, meaning the first person to get three answers. Creek wins the game. And we'll walk away with a aforementioned Chrissy Swan show bum bag dog sold separately. Question number one. <laughs> Name the American reality star bringing some Hollywood sparkle to Ramsey Street in a guest role. Melissa. Yes, Melissa. Krisha Kay. Krisha Kay? Krisha. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't remember her name. I'm going to give it to you. Krisha. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Krisha. Krisha. Krisha Staus. Melissa, you've got one point. Question number Thank two, you. what type of animal is a gannet? That is a hard one. It is a bird. Uh, Question number three, a dinner Menzel is celebrating a, fro- a birthday today. Can you name the character she played on Frozen? Kate. Yes, Kate. Um, I'm going to say, oh, my God, I've just, I've had a mental black. Anna? Elsa. Oh, so close. <laughs> so close. It was one or the other, wasn't it? <laughs> Yeah. God, I forgot I love Frozen. I want to watch it again. Uh, Question number four. Name the show that Will Anderson hosted on the ABC last night. Kate. Yes, Kate. Gruen. Did you watch it? I did not. (laughs) (laughs) I must be honest. Is that guy on it still Russell Howcroft? I believe so, yes. Mm. Question number five. Dunedin is a city in which country? Kate. Yes, Kate. Melissa. New Zealand. Yes, it is New Zealand. What's the score check, Jackie? Two points to Kate, one to Melissa. Kate, question number six is for the win. Which tropical fruit is used to make Hawaiian pizza? Kate. Melissa. Yes, Kate, for the win. Pineapple. It is pineapple. And just as an aside, what do you think about pineapple on a pizza? It belongs. It absolutely belongs. I agree it belongs. Absolutely. It's the best part of a Hawaiian pizza. It's the pizza. best part. Ladies, you are both in the draw for Nova's 10K a day in May. Thanks to Liberty. Are I've, you okay? I've just spotted. Why is there a box of empty solo sitting next to you? Do not tell me you are taking that home to burn it. Okay, I won't tell you that if you don't want to hear it. That's fine. Swan. That's like a Yes, ho- I'm collecting paper from around the office now because I've burnt everything at my house. You need help. A lot of help. I probably do. <laughs> Mir Forhurst joins us live in the studio next. The Chrissy Swan Show. I am so excited to Same. welcome the gorgeous Mir Forhurst <laughs> to our show. We do not deserve your presence. Oh, yes, you do. No. I listen to you in the car when I'm in Brisbane oh, and I'm just, yeah. I love hearing you. It, it makes me feel like I am home. Just oh. looking at you, I just love you so much and I know that, Looks don't matter and it's only the package and whatever, but just to see you so juicy and shiny <laughs> and You are chic. radiating. Am yeah. I? Yeah. yeah, and you've really served a look for us today with your glasses and Thank your red you. turtleneck yeah. and your lashes are lashing. Oh, my goodness. Well, it, let's let's be real. These are the lashes left over from filming last night. I thought oh. I'd leave them on for you so I look special. <laughs> How magical. Have you ever tried to put them on yourself? I no, don't recommend it. No, it's I can't do it. Oh, no, you look completely mad. Yeah, so this is not all me, I have to say. It so. looks like you're doing some very satisfying work yeah. in your life, Miff. Let's talk about secrets. Science. Mm. Well, um, I decided to branch out and do some things that I'm not comfortable doing, and that would be science. Yeah. Because growing up, when I did and in our gen, mm. we weren't really encouraged to do science and maths, right. uh, especially if you were a younger girl. It was yeah. just, it was just almost accepted that you wouldn't know it or understand it. And yeah, it, we didn't I, know the term STEM. Yeah. Have you heard STEM? I was going to say, nor do I. But. Oh, okay, so it must be after you. My kids are all over STEM. It is after, they're STEM. all over STEM. Mm. And that's, What's you know, STEM? It's getting 
young girls into science, technology, technology oh. in, in, in environment, good. maybe in maths. I don't know, and but maths. it's all that stuff. Right. Yeah. It's about getting them involved and it not being a, a negative mm. thing or a thing just for re- the really smart girls. Everyone can do science. Mm. And so when Catalyst, the, the ABC science department, approached me to do this show, Secret Science, it was about the science of emotions. Oh, they were the topics that they gave me. And I, again, I know nothing about my emotions. Kids these days are brought up giving things names and yeah. being able to go, that's yeah. a feeling. And I'm like, oh, I don't know when I'm angry. What happens to me? So what did you learn? Well, I learned so much. I learned that, uh, well, anger is, is a primal thing. It is in us, it's, but it's not something we should be ashamed of. And I think the shame of the anger for a lot of people leads to them behaving in ways that are not great. Mm. So it's it's actually about dealing with the core of the issues. And also I find that if you don't get angry... Most women our age never got angry. Yeah, but we but do if, now. We do. <laughs> We're furious. I'm furious. Um, but it comes out somehow. Always. So you may as well just cut to the chase and bleh, yeah. get it out. Get it out and, and, and get some advice on how to deal with it. And and mm. there's certain people that I talk to. So I'm in there without my science background. I'm learning. However, the people they're talking to and I'm talking to are some of the brightest and the best in the country. Something, Ask about anxiety, please. Yeah, I'll, I'll get to anxiety. But something I found really interesting in a clip I saw, Miff, was about forest therapy oh. and how by just walking around certain trees, they let out like essential oils that have antivirals and all of these amazing things. And I never knew about it this. It is wild. And this would contribute, Chrissy, to I, I assume the reason why walking has been so yeah. regenerative for you. Because when you go out, particularly in Australia with the yeah. eucalyptus trees, they pump out a hell of a lot more of those chemicals than any other tree. No. And they actually heal you. And there is the science behind it is stunning. <laughs> it's sick. And, and the best bit was you don't have to walk fast, forest based. And they said, no. you, do you want to do forest bathing? I said, no, I'm never being on television <laughs> in my togs. No, that right. Absolutely that, not. I, I got furious. I was like, what do you, <laughs> who do you think I am? No one needs, I don't want to see that. And um, and then I found out it was just really slowly walking through anywhere, even just your local park with trees and touching trees and looking at their, watching them grow over over time. Wow. It's really good for you. Wow. Scientifically. That makes so much sense, mm. doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, will you please stick around? Oh, we'll, we'll give a proper plug to it. Watch Myth on Secret Science, which is next Tuesday, 9pm on ABC and the magnificent streamer ABC iView. God, it's good. The Chrissy Swan Show. She's stuck around. It's Miff Warhurst. You couldn't get rid of me. I'm so keen to stay in this in environment. Oh, it's <laughs> Beautiful. so fun. I love it. And if you stick around long enough, you'll see your pal Joel Creasy. He will be lurking with intent. What time is it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So uh, he'll be here now. Speaks and Specs. What a legendary show out of all the shows that you've been involved in. Jeez, she must be proud of your work on Spicks and Specs. Absolutely. It's something I did in the early days and I had no idea what was mm. going on. I, I hadn't done much telly at that point and it was all a bit, it was all a bit, Full on, you know, you were yeah. thrust into this environment and, yeah. and people really got on board the show at the time and now it was, well, it was something we left behind but mm. then we did a couple of return episodes and we realised what a joy it is to actually work with people you love, Adam and Alan who are the other hosts yeah. and be able to laugh and share joy and and, and I think that's, I, I've worked out in my, in my later years the things I want to do are either going to help people or bring them joy. Me and, too. And I feel like that's what we're here for because... I agree. Yeah, it, Not all of us are, but some of some us are. Some of us are. And if we can do that and... Winning. Yeah, we are winning. Someone so it's years ago, the, the first t- time I sort of thought, oh, gosh, I think that might be me, was just a mum at one of my kids' mm. schools like t- 10 years ago yep. said to me, you are such a joy bringer. As a, as a As a descriptor, and I thought... Oh, Oh, I love that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want to be. There you uh, go. It's just so, it just must be a very nice feeling to be a part of Australian TV history. Because Absolutely. Because Specs is a legendary uh, show. And let's be honest, I just turn up too. It's the <laughs> easiest job I've ever had because I don't, I can't prep. And so. Specs and Specs returns Sunday, June 9 at 7.30 on now, ABC. I have been rolled out as guests and contestants on almost yes. every television show never once have i been asked to appear on spicks and specs i know i was thinking that as i was walking here this mm. makes me very sad no i feel like that's it i'm, I'm never <laughs> going to be asked but i've got if you we do here it, now if we do another season i am it's, it's 
you're promises, promises, miss. miss. Well, no, it works. We both know that you don't have that power. Uh, <laughs> no, no, because <laughs> Ron, Ronda, Ronda Birchmore and I were talking the other day, who's a dear friend of mine from my experience in the jungle, and yeah. she was like, I'd love to be back on, and I went, so I made a call. She's Go on. Go Miff. She's wow, on. Oh, you've got some clout. It's only, it's only one guest I've asked for, though. <laughs> I may not need to uh, draw on that favour because will you please, Miff Warhurst, make my dreams come true and play a classic Spicks and Specs game with me right now? Is Substitute back for this new season? You bet. Yes. Always back. The if hardest you, game you can so ever hard. play. It's so hard. If you need a refresher, it's where... Idiots like me re uh, sing a song, mm. sing the tune of a song with the lyrics or words from a random book. And speaking of random, what do we got? We've got Jules Robinson's book. <laughs> Was she famous from maths? Was from maths. Famous from Married at First Sight. Okay, I you- found it weirdly. In the rubbish bin. <laughs> <laughs> you right. can sing, Chrissy. I know this. She can. Okay. Oh, I can't sing Jules Robinson's book. Okay. Song one. Okay. Mm, song one. Let me have a I'm reminder ready. of what it is. When do I buzz in? When I know it or just let you go and have, okay. have your mm-hmm. moment? Mm-hmm. Got it. Unfortunately, because the lead up to our wedding was such <laughs> an intense period for us with all the media attention and online oh. trolling, it was hard to fully enjoy. <laughs> Live and yeah. All right. Next one. Next one. I was li- I was enjoying listening to stories about their relationship though, post maths. <laughs> well, I'll I'll stay on this one. Okay. I've also got Trent Cotchins. Oh, I just fell asleep. <laughs> um, all right, let's just stay on Jules's book, all okay. right? <clears throat> that first night together as a family of three was also our first night in our new home. Cam She's and thinking. I were on a mattress on the floor while Ollie had his beautiful snoo bassin in it. The very best baby bed you can get. Uh, there he da, was, da, up da, in da, his da, little da, princely da, head, and we were on the floor with sheets as curtains. But come on, me. we had never been da, da, happier da, da, da. as the days it. went by in a blur. Mm. I'm feeding and cuddling, and and sleeping and living. Remember, the the remember the old man pointing at the baby mess that surrounded me. I'm so used to everything being clean, tidy, surrounded in you. But when I finally do put him down, all I want to do is just sit down. I'm Emma Colson, listening to Circle Your Way. Say my name. Say my, my name. name. Yes, you got it, yeah. It's so hard. It's so hard. Because I only work if I can hear the chorus and the titles in the chorus. Like Actually, my head. Have you ever done that? And that is the longest first. <laughs> have, you, have, you ever been, have you ever done what I'm doing? It's I've done very it three hard. times and it's been Song horrific. Song number three. Let's okay, take let's it home. Okay, let's go. Of course, sweating <clears throat> now. Pregnancy changes people fundamentally. You do not just go back to the way <laughs> you were <laughs> before. <laughs> you have. I had a baby, I gained almost 20 kilos during my pregnancy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come as you are. You can come you as you are. You know what I love? That you changed your voice Thank for you. each artist. I yeah. feel like you really embraced this. It was an impersonation as well. You can so come good. as you are any day you We love, you, you I like love that. Please come back. Catch her on Spicks and Specs on the ABC and catch her on her new show, Secret Science. Love oh, you. Love you too. The Chrissy Swan Show. If you've missed the show, we just had Joel's best friend forever, Miff Warhurst, on Catch Up on I Love Her Too on our podcast. Let's go clicking for the last time. Chrissy's Clickbait. Just first things first, side note, Vanity Fair, which is the only magazine that I subscribe to and have done every year for maybe 25 years. Yeah. I always find the money for it. And if you shop around, you can get discount codes, by the way. Um, they have published a Kate Middleton update, and it says that the princess has turned a corner with her cancer treatment. If Vanity Fair says it generally, it's pretty spot on. Yeah. So that is finally some good news for that family. That is. Also, like, that's very odd to come from Vanity Fair, is it? Like, do they usually do news uh, updates like yes, that? Yes, they do. So oh. originally Vanity Fair was an American magazine, but they've, they've the head office and the publisher now, the editor is 
English. Right, Braden okay. Carter. Got it. All right, I, and I know that this is absolutely unauthorised, but I do want to talk about Nicole Kidman and Zac Efron. They have stripped down for a hot and heavy scene in uh, a new film called A Family Affair, and I feel sick. <laughs> I feel sick, and it's got nothing to do with the age difference. Yes, Nicole Kidman is 56. Yes, Zac Efron is 36. But they are two of my least favourite people really? on the screen. And I don't want to see them doing this. See, I was brought up on High School Musical, so I feel like I have to love Zac Efron. And Nicole I just love. But, like, the thing that's scary to me, Swanee, is... I know you can't really say this, but, like, Zac's face... It still catches me off guard. It's he looks so different to what Zac Efron used to look like. I don't know whether there was he had a serious injury, I believe. Oh, did he? A serious facial injury because there were all these rumours about plastic surgery. But (laughs) Tom is making a face like. I think he's trying to imply something. Was he attacked? No, apparently his jaw like fell off. Came off? Why? How? Yeah, do we know why? How come I've missed this? Do some good. Go- Tom's going to do some good. Go- do go- some googling. Time is running out. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel are minutes away. Anyway, I don't want to see that. No, that's a hard <laughs> no from me. I will be screaming through my hands. Worse than a horror movie. Um, <laughs> varieties, actors on actors. The lineup has been uh, released. It's where one actor introduce um, interviews another actor, and there are some amazing couples here. Jodie Foster and Robert Downey Jr. God, I don't want to miss that. Kristen Wiig, one of my favourites, and John Hamm. Quinta Brunson and Jennifer Aniston. Uh, what's another one I love? Naomi Watts and Jonathan Bailey. That'll be great. Tom Hiddleston. I love I hope they talk about Taylor. But this is a controversial pairing. Chloe Sevigny, who was massive in the early 2000s in everything, and Kim Kardashian. I'm now, here for it. Well, this is a show for actors. You know I love Kim Kardashian. She's not an actor. Sorry, no. I know that she. she's obviously, I agree with you, she's not quite like got the skill or talent of an actor yet. She hasn't got the experience. This is what an interview is about. But she's done two series she's of American Horror Story now, so she technically is an actor. You can't, you, I'm sorry. Technically, yes. Yeah. Technically, yes. But, like, am I going to go on a, on a culinary series with top-notch sourdough bread makers because I've made two loaves of bread? No. <laughs> no. I mean, you sorry. probably could the amount of time you spend in Baker's Delight. <laughs> I love Kim Kardashian. I love her. But don't, I don't want to hear about her and her acting journey. She's not an actor. Sorry. She, no. On, I think she is. On the new show, Swanee, on the new season, she no. talks about she has a new agent. It's not even Chris doing her acting stuff now. It's an actual acting I'm agent. I'm very happy for her. <laughs> Interview her in 25 years like Jodie Foster and Robert Downey Jr. and Jennifer Aniston and uh, Naomi Watts, people that have been doing it for longer than... A bit part on two series. <laughs> Sorry, no. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel are up next and they'll be calling someone for the second last time at 5 o'clock with 10K. Now check this out. The Chrissy Swan Show is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.